This week, we're going to talk about watermarking our images in Lightroom. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace, where you will learn innovative techniques on shooting a wide range of photography. Hi everybody, I'm Mark Wallace. Welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography brought to you by Adorama. It's the camera store that has everything for photographers. Video gear, lighting equipment, studio strobes, everything. I mean, just imagine it. They've got it. So check it out, adorama.com. Well, last week on Exploring Photography, we talked about setting up Lightroom 5 for the first time. And we talked about metadata presets. Well, we're going to extend that by talking about watermarks this week. And a watermark is just your logo or some kind of thing to put on a, an image when it's printed or exported for the web that says, hey, this is my image. This is where you can find me and don't steal it. And so that's what a watermark really is. So how do you set those up? Well, the first step is you need to have some kind of a logo or some kind of something that's created using what's called a transparent PNG file. We don't have enough time to go into how to create a PNG file, a transparent PNG file that we're going to save that for a future episode. You can Google that or check out the Adorama Learning Center. There's tons of information about that, so you can learn how to do that. Once you have that transparent PNG file, then Lightroom can use that to create a watermark and you can scale it and do all kinds of things. So let's take a closer look at creating watermarks in Lightroom. But before we do, check out these contests from Adorama. Hi everybody, it's Mark Wallace. Make sure you check out Adorama's latest contest. You could win some great prizes. Setting up your watermarks in Lightroom is pretty simple. So we go up here to our menu, click Lightroom, and then click Edit Watermarks. As soon as you do that, you'll see this watermark editor. Now play with this at home because there's not enough time for us to go through every single feature, but I'll show you the basics. We're gonna start with our watermark style. We could do a text watermark, which is already set up here. It's just text on your photo. And that's great if you don't have a logo or a graphic to use. We're gonna do the graphic though. So I'm gonna click graphic. As soon as I do that, it's gonna ask me where that file is. Now I've already navigated here to my logos folder and we're gonna choose this uh, photo right here. This is actually my logo. And where it's white, that's actually a transparency. So it, well, the photo will show through where this is white. Now it's important that you save these on a place that Lightroom can always find them. So your local hard drive somewhere is the best place to do that, not an external hard drive because, well, if you open up your library and try to put a watermark on it and it can't find the file, it's not gonna work. So I always put these on my local hard drive so I can find them. Okay, I'm gonna choose that file. And as soon as I do, it shows up way over here in the corner. It's this little bitty uh, watermark over here. Now we can customize this. And so we can do several things. The first thing that's really important is to note the size. So I like to use a proportional uh, size so I can say, you know what, make this proportional. So if this is a 1200 pixel wide uh, image, make this take up a little bit more than half. If it's a 500 pixel wide image, uh, same thing. So it will stretch or shrink based on the size of the image. So that's what proportional is. You can also make this fit so it goes edge to edge or fill, which fills up the entire thing. Some people use fill when they have just like a big copyright symbol and they'll make that a little bit transparent. So you can uh, change the opacity so you can sort of show through. So there are a lot of options there. I'm gonna choose fit here just so we can see some things. Um, one of the things down here is called inset. Right now you'll see this is stuck against the edges of our image. We don't want that. What we can do is we can take this and we can inset it horizontally so it doesn't touch the sides. And then vertically, we can do the same thing. Now these insets also work if you're doing a proportional graphic. So we'll make this proportionally something like that. You can see the inset allows you to inset that uh, up or down, left or right. The other thing you can do here is you can change where this is anchored. So I could say, you know what, anchor this at the top left or top right or in the center and the lower left. That works in the proportional size. Fit's always gonna uh, go all the way across, but you can say go across the middle or the top or the bottom, it's really cool. The other thing you can do is you can rotate this. So you can have it uh, go on the left. You can have it go down here on the right hand side. You can put this in the middle. You get the idea. You can do all kinds of things with these graphics. So we're gonna anchor this to the bottom. We're gonna have it fit where it fills almost the entire thing, but has got a little bit of space using our insets. Then we're gonna save this going up here. And instead of having this say custom, we're gonna say save current settings as a new preset. We're gonna call this MW logo fit, create, click. And then we're gonna say done. 
All right, we've got a logo that is, I mean, a watermark that's set up. We can use that now when we export files. We can use it in the slideshow. We can use it on the web. We can do all kinds of things. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to use this on export. So I have two different images here. I'll say file, export. And when I export this, I'm going to put this in a folder called watermarks for Adorama TV. We're going to make these 1,200 pixels wide. And then what we'll do here is I'm going to choose this Mark Wallace logo fit watermark, and then I'll export this. Now the thing to notice is one of these is horizontal, one of them is vertical, but watch what happens to the watermark when we do this. So here are the exported images. Notice this fits side to side, just like we wanted it to, and when we go to the next one, again, this fits side to side. So it's scaling and making sure this all works based on the proportions and the aspect ratio of the file, so everything is taken care of for you. Now you can also use these in slideshows, you can use these on the web gallery, and so there's all the different types of things that you can do with these watermarks. And so it's not just for uh, the, the uh, export. You can use them in other modules of Lightroom as well. We don't have time to go into that. But setting up watermarks in Lightroom is one of the very first things you should do. And that's how you do it. Well, that was a crash course in creating watermarks. And you can see it's pretty simple once you have those transparent PNGs set up. You can just import those and use them and create all kinds of neat stuff. So how do you create that? Well, we're going to tackle that in a future episode of Exploring Photography. But don't forget, there's all kinds of information at the Adorama Learning Center. Adorama TV has a bunch of tutorials. Rich Harrington actually did a crash course on creating transparent PNG files. And you can find that on Adorama TV in the Google Hangout that we did with Gavin Hoey and myself and Rich. And so you can see that. And the neat thing is all of this stuff is free. In fact, you should subscribe right now. It's free. And that way you don't miss a single episode. So click the subscribe button and you don't want to miss anything. Well, thanks for joining me and I'll see you again next time. Come on up. Come on over. Come say hi. Come say hi. Now I gotta go back to work. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.